Hey everyone, this is Aaron from Blurfy Studios and I'm here to show you a quick video on how to create a level and then publish that level to the servers so that you can get your friends to join in and play uh, co-op or multiplayer or deathmatch with you, whatever it is you have designed your level to be. So to start, let's get into crafting by selecting the craft button. Uh, you'll be then presented with a screen that shows all the levels that you've currently created. As you can see, mine are just a bunch of silly names, but you can from here go in and have a look. You can edit that level or you can start a brand new level from scratch, uh, which is what we're going to do now. So let's go ahead and start a new level from scratch. Okay, so first thing you see here is a big sort of white square or cube on the ground. Uh, if you use your mouse, you can sort of look around. Um, uh, first person shooter controls for moving backwards, forwards, and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, I'm just sort of floating in the 3D space right now, looking around. When you're actually on a platform, if you back off and fall into space, you will actually fall. Just press the E button. You actually will stop falling at some point, so you don't go too far. Now what we need to do is place some blocks, so let's press tab, bring up the block menu and let's go look for some blocks to place. Now at the very top of the screen you have your your block palette and just by sort of clicking on blocks that you like, you can add those blocks to the palette. So I've got a couple of blocks here and yeah, we might just pick that one too. Let's just fab to get back. If you just by left clicking your mouse, you will place a block on the face that's selected. So I'm just going to build a couple of blocks here, place them around, just cover up this white cube. Now the white cube, just so you know, is actually sort of the initial spawn point. It's kind of the uh, center of the world. So I'm just going to cover that with these um, wooden looking blocks and now if you want to remove a block you can do so by just basically right clicking a block and left clicking something back into its place so I'm just going to replace those wooden blocks with these uh, sort of jail cell looking window cubes um, you can also rotate a block by just pressing the R button so you can see there I'm just trying to line up the, the jail bars now another thing you can do is you can also quick select the, the block palette. Uh, one to five will just quick select or swap uh, whatever number you press it will swap that into the say the, the current tool and allow you to place that block. Okay, uh, I'm just going to place a couple of those there. Don't really know what I'm making, just going to place a few things, rotate a few blocks and uh, just build whatever really. Okay, let's just fill the rest of this um, that white cube up. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to hide it for now. Okay, I might just sort of build more, and I'm just going to extrude or build out into the into the space, and just show you that you can actually build things, remove blocks, and just keep building. So you can go and build floating platforms and various things like that. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing, just trying to quickly build something so we can uh, just jump into this and start testing at some point. Let's have a look, just extrude out this platform, make a bigger area, just so there's something, and uh, get rid of some of that. Let's give our level a name, something simple, could be anything. I think demo test will work, demo 01. And level description it could just be anything again. Just a silly test scene. Uh, now, yep, you can choose one of those things. Uh, music, just choose anything really. Just, you don't have to if you don't want to. And I'd say save the level. Uh, publishing the levels for if you want to publish your level and you're ready to basically allow people online to see and play your level. Now let's just click test. Here we are. We've now just dropped into our little level or that I made. 
you can see I can all my blocks are there. I'm now in first person shooter mode and unfortunately I can't jump where I want to. I'll just kill myself and start again. Uh, now I'll spawn, as you can see, I'll spawn on top of where the white blocks were. So we don't have any spawn points in this level yet, but I will spawn on top of where the white block or the or the the two by two white block is. So next up, I think we need to add some uh, a couple of weapons uh, and some spawn points and a few more things. So let's just press escape, get out of this, and get back into construction. As you can see, um, wherever you sort of end up leaving the level, you actually sort of reappear. And just place a couple more silly things. Just going to build a couple of areas to sort of be able to get my character around so I don't get trapped. And again, I'm just building something silly. staircases and things to allow myself to get up on top of levels. Alright, so let's go look for, let's hide everything, and jump pad. Jump pads are fun. Let's see, where should I put it? Yeah, somewhere silly. Why not? Now you'll notice when we jump into the scene here, I suddenly start falling and die. Uh, what's going on there is when you jump between create and test, uh, you'll you'll just you you end up basically where you were before. So it's kind of a good way if you're building a huge map that you don't spawn way back at the start. You can actually spawn where you're currently building and see what you've just been building. Okay, so it looks like my little staircases are working as intended, sort of. Uh, what's really missing now are basically weapons, ammunition and actual spawn points, or proper spawn points, so let's go look for those. Ah, we don't want any health, no need for that. Um, let's see, let's pick up spawn points, SP, for multiplayer spawn point. So I'll bring one of those in, and I'll get some ammo. Let's go for the uh, small ammo. Large ammo, a spawn point. I think we need a weapon and a shotgun. Why not? Okay, let's place some of these things. The direction you're facing, as you can see I'm rotating that spawn point, um, the arrow in the center of that spawn point basically says what direction the player is going to, going to appear when they spawn. Okay, let's place some guns in random locations because we're just basically just creating a quick little test level here. And some ammunition. Just scatter that somewhere. The level is populated with the basics, but a bit of everything. Let's go back, save the level, and give it another test. Oops, and I'm spawning in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's spawn again. Got myself a shotgun. And you can see everything that I've placed has actually appeared where I've placed it. This ammunition. There are jump pads. Publishing your level um, basically just means that you're allowing people on the inter internet to access your level so they can play it. Uh, they don't actually get your level so they can't actually modify or change your level but they can at least start up a, a server, invite their friends in and play your level. So let's go ahead and publish this. Oh, it's freaked out. There's actually another way to publish it so let's try that. I'll just save the level and let's just get out of here. Get back to the main menu. Yes, quit. Quit. I just want to bring up my menu of all my levels. And by clicking on Demo 01, I can actually then click Publish there. And that will now publish this level to the internet. So let's go to Shoot Mode and see if we can host the level we just created uh, online. So now that's currently a game that's happening right now with someone either testing or someone's actually in there. 
uh, I want to create a new game. Find my game in the list of games. As you can see, demo01 is down the bottom. Uh, I'll say host game. Now, right now, I'm hosting the game, and anyone could sort of jump in and join up. And I have actually spawned on one of my spawn points facing the direction that the arrow pointed. So that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much the basics placing weapons, placing some ammo, uh, a couple of little fun things, uh, putting in spawn points. Uh, I guess the next step is just designing a decent level and um, continuing from there. Okay, that's it. So thanks for watching this quick little rundown on how to create and publish a level in Gunscape. And I hope you enjoy the game. Thanks a lot.